Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, you're gonna see some gameplay on Domino. We're gonna go into Mystery in the Micro Realms, Quest 2, because there's a path in there that I wanted to show just how good Domino is for that path, especially. All right, so first, we're going to discuss the synergies that I have active on Domino. And you can see that I have the Trinity, which is Red Hulk and Masakri. And I also have Red Deadpool and Sabretooth. So let's take a look uh, briefly here. Uh, the Red Deadpool adds damage if they are not female or robot. The Sabretooth is going to increase her chance to be lucky she normally has a chance when she fills a bar of power, but if she has avoided an attack by dashing back, meaning she evaded it, then the next time she fills a bar of power, she has an increased chance by 6% to be lucky. That's all that does. All right, now here is Masakri. This is the synergy that I really want to showcase here. All right, at the start of the fight, well, sorry, not Masakri, um, Domino's debuffs last one second longer. That means that on limber nodes, it doesn't matter because of the way that they handle that, she's always going to have enough time to get off her heavy attack. And you're going to see that when we dive in there. So that is a very powerful synergy, especially for Limber, but it's also good for anything. Her debuffs last longer, okay? So uh, that's going to play a part in this one here. With the Red Hulk synergy, her heavy attacks inflict an incinerate debuff that deals damage equal to that heavy attack's damage over two seconds. Well, with Masakri, that's going to last for three seconds. So that's more damage again. All right. And when she gets her bleeds, critical bleeds, it's an extra second more damage. All right. So let's go into variant here. And the path that we're going to take is this one here to the left. Now, when I first did Variant 2, this fight here gave me no end of trouble. I wish I had had Domino when I did this. I actually ended up using a four-star Domino for the first few fights. So you can see we're gonna deal with Limber and all buffs on this opponent are going to last longer and if that's not bad enough we've got these globals you can read the globals for yourself if you're not familiar but basically if you are not an extra large champion you have to be careful what attacks you perform all right you can see down there for size matters anytime you glance and they have a increased chance to glance uh, depending on your size, you will glance and you're also going to take damage because of another one of the global nodes. Okay, so bottom line is extra large can do whatever they want. If you're large, medium, small, there's certain things you can and cannot do safely. And as you see here, Domino is small. That means that the only thing she can do safely is heavy but that's what she excels at all right here we go boom look at that incinerate damage that's thanks to the red hulk synergy this fight becomes very easy when you have red hulk paired up with domino now if you're familiar or not familiar with uh thor ragnarok you have to be careful how many times you hit him. If he gets too many hits, he's going to go into this mode where he gets a lot of 
uh, power. And that can spell a bad day for you. Now, something else that you may have noticed, you saw me dashing back a lot. I was making use of that other synergy because I wanted to make sure that I had a very high chance to get lucky by the time I got two bars of power. So you saw me evading, evading. Uh, that's why I was doing that. And then I heavied him, got to the special two, and then wrecked him. However, even specials have a chance to be glanced because she is small. So I actually got lucky there and I didn't take a lot of damage. So throughout the next few fights, you'll notice that the only damage I am taking will be because of my suicides or uh, block damage if I miss a parry. Otherwise, as long as I stick with the parry heavy, I'm fine. And remember, we're dealing with a uh, limber node. That doesn't matter when you have Masakri because even though their stun duration is going to be reduced, no matter what, it can't be reduced but so much. And I've done a video showcasing, uh, I believe, this synergy. You basically have infinite parries. Uh, limber reduces the number of parries that you can realistically perform an action after because you can still parry, but the stun is not going to last. And after about 10 parries or so, they're not going to even notice. But that's not true with Domino and Masakri. That is why Domino, Masakri, and uh, Red Hulk are considered the trinity. All right, so here we go. We're still doing the parry heavy. Now, against Ultron, if I didn't have Red Hulk, Domino does a lot of bleeds, but Red um, Ultron is bleed immune. Thankfully, he's not incinerate immune. So along with Red Hulk, I can wreck him, as you see here. And he's just going to go down. All right. And I do that out of reflex. You'll notice I attacked and they glanced and I took damage. You don't want to do that. But just out of reflex, I, I do it. Now, we're going to have to deviate from the path because I did not bring a cosmic. And we still are dealing with limber. Uh, but you'll see here. It's uh, now Aggression Fury that we have to deal with. So uh, the longer we don't hit them, the more Fury they will build up. And when they do finally hit us, even if it's into our block, we take damage. All right, so you see here, just doing the basic parry heavy. I really wish I had had this domino when I initially did this quest. It would have saved me so many units. I used to hear people talking about Domino and how easy she made this quest. And I would watch videos and oh, I wished I had a Domino. And I finally got her from the arena because they would not give her to me from any crystal that I opened up. But it's all good. I'd rather, honestly, the arena because there's no RNG and I can just put in my time and get the champion. Uh, and as you can see also, she does not need to be awakened. Uh, I could awaken her. I have gems, but I don't see the need. Now, if I were to place her on defense, then I might want her awakened. It adds some degen to, um, I believe, her critical failures. So more damage, and that's great when she is defending. It's also good when she's attacking as well. Okay, now you saw I did some specials there. I got lucky. Uh, you're going to see that you don't want to do that. You want to stick with parry and heavy. Okay, now this next fight is against Yondu, and Yondu has a nasty bleed he can bleed through your blocks and he's difficult to parry 
okay? Now watch this. You see I was able to parry him. Uh, you don't want to try to parry Yondu on his dash, his medium attack. You want to get close to him and get him on that initial, uh, I think it's the light hit. But I've just kind of learned to do it and I don't even think about it anymore. But uh, you can see you can parry him right there, but you don't want to try to parry him when he does like his uh, regular dash attack, I think it is. All right, and there we go. And look at my health. I keep firing off the specials so I could show you guys the critical bleed. And I'm not going to heal up because we're not going to do a full path. That wasn't the purpose. I wanted to show you the limber and how Masakuri affected that and how she could just ignore the limber node altogether and it didn't matter. All right. Now, this fight here is the last fight on the path. And I could have beaten this guy with just a parry heavy, but you're going to see why you don't want to fire off your specials. Okay? So you can see here, parry heavy is working just fine. All right? He fires off his special one. We parry again. And we just keep going heavy. He's unlucky. All right? And then I was about to fire the special two off right there, but he went unstoppable. So I said, all right, let me wait parry heavy um, I interrupted the heavy but look at that the reason that happened is because she's small and specials can glance thanks to the uh, global and deal damage but anyway that's gonna do it guys hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned a little bit more about Domino take care click like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought about the video and you all have a blessed day